Hello everybody, it's Sierra, the Artsy Badger, and today we're doing a tribute piece to my pet rat that unfortunately passed away this last week. I don't really know how to go about doing this video, but I just felt like I needed to do something. Now I know that a lot of people don't think that rats make good pets or good creatures in general, but I've had rats my whole life and I can honestly say they make one of the most incredible pets that you could imagine. The worst part about them is the fact that they don't live very long. And what makes this even sadder is that this rat lived half the life that she should have. So this is a tribute piece to my rat, Buttercup. She only lived to be just over a year old because she had a brain tumor that ultimately took her life. That is another aspect of having rats as pets that is really sad is the fact that they are very prone to tumors of all kinds. I've mostly dealt with external tumors where they end up having these big masses on their side, but usually they can still live a pretty good life. I've also removed tumors from rats a couple of times to ensure that they had good lives, but this little girl, she ended up with a pituitary tumor, which took away her balance and her ability to groom herself and go up and down stairs in her cage. And her ability to eat slowly deteriorated. And we did everything we could to keep her with us as long as we could. Uh, we were syringe feeding her multiple times a day to make sure she was staying hydrated and fed and we were letting her free roam about a little bit so that she could get some exercise. So I think we did everything we could for her and ultimately I know that it is better now that she's passed away because the quality of life she had was not really one that a rat should live through. But she was very important to us and I just really wanted to make a little portrait for her because I really miss her. A few things about Buttercup, she was a Rex rat. She was so cute. She had these little curly whiskers, which you can kind of see, they're not super obvious. They can kind of just blend into the background with the plants, but I made sure to include those because I just think that that was a really cute part of her personality. She also had curly hair, which is why I made her look so rough, I guess, around the edges, because she had curly hair. As she grew older, it became less and less obvious that she was a Rex rat, but she was, she was so cute and unique. In case you guys are wondering, she is named Buttercup because of the Powerpuff Girls. Her sisters are Blossom and Bubbles, and they're gonna be missing their third part to their trio. The flowers and plants that I'm decorating the background with are flowers that grow in our yard and that we used during her burial. She is buried in our backyard. This was a really difficult piece for me to create. I felt very emotional during it, but like I said, it just felt important to me. I couldn't really focus on anything else. I just really wanted to memorialize her somehow. And I've been wanting to do portraits of my pets for a while. I have two guinea pigs as well, and I just thought it would be nice to have a little set of portraits. I never thought that I would be doing it because one of them passed away so early, but it's a good excuse to start. So maybe someday I will do the other rats and my guinea pigs. The hardest part about this was wondering whether I did something wrong or could have done something more, but I just have to remind myself that a pituitary tumor is something that happens in a lot of rats, and as sad as it is, ultimately her passing is probably for the best, because like I said earlier, it's not really a quality of life to live for a rat. Rats love to climb and explore and 
and they're actually very cleanly, so her not being able to groom herself, and she was definitely the cleanest of the three of our, our rats, and so I know that she is in a better place now. But it doesn't stop it from being sad. Like I said, really the only thing I have to complain about owning rats is how quickly they're out of your life, and they just... They make such a big impact on your life because they're so fun and they're so interactive. They just want to be with you all the time that it's really hard to lose them. But at least through art, we can, we can create things that will last forever and she'll never be forgotten. So that's about all I have left to say. I'm like about to burst into tears. So before I do that, I'm going to thank you all so much for watching. And if you stay till the very end of the video, there's a little montage of Buttercup's life from the very beginning until the end where she's a little bit crooked and not being able to hold her balance. But I think... Whew. But I know she had a good life while it lasted, and that she was loved very, very much. We'll miss you, Buttercup. <laughs>